Welcome to the One Minute Apologist. One Minute Apologist. We interview the world's leading apologists to provide credible answers to curious questions. Frank, we are, uh, you know, temporal beings created, and we're told if we don't place our faith in the Lord Jesus, that there is eternal hell for a temporal being. Uh, some would say that the punishment doesn't fit the crime. How do you get eternal punishment for that? Well, first of all, the duration of the period it takes to commit a crime doesn't necessarily mean that the punishment is that duration. For example, you, you, you could take two seconds to kill someone, but your punishment is not two seconds. Secondly, a punishment for sin against an eternal being may require an eternal punishment. And thirdly, the idea that you stop sinning in hell isn't necessarily the right idea. I think that you probably do continue, if you're conscious, to sin in hell by continually rejecting the eternal being. So you're not just being paid or you're not just being punished for your temporal sin, you're also being punished for your eternal rejection of that eternal being. So almost like we've heard William Lane Craig say, the reason that hell goes on forever is because the sinning goes on forever. Yes, I think he's correct about that. And he, he has a, a couple other things he said that are true.